If you want, you can achieve anything. What we tried to do was not thinking like we were going to feed the island, but can every day double up what we did the day before. Mm, that is Chef Jose Andres discussing relief efforts in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria on the Facebook Watch series Be Fearless. His nonprofit served more than 3.6 million meals. The Michelin star chef's story is featured in a new book that examines what qualities make a good leader, and it is called Be Fearless, Five Principles for a Life of Breakthroughs and Purpose. The author is philanthropist Jean Case. Case is a digital pioneer and was a senior executive in the early days of AOL. She is now CEO of the Case Foundation, which has donated more than $100 million to innovative groups trying to solve social problems. Be Fearless is published by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS Jean Case. Good morning. This is is perfect and the perfect message for everybody sort of starting off the new year and thinking what can I do differently what do I need to do we have so many good stories in here you write fearlessness is not the lack of fear but rather the courage and strength to overcome it how do you do that well first of all thanks for having me Nora it's great to be with you guys this morning so listen I wrote the book because there are a series of myths out there about what it takes to achieve success or break through with something innovative Everyone around the world, we found, has ideas about what they might do to change the world, but often they're stopped by the idea that maybe you need a special genius or wealth or certain connections or graduating from the right school. Our research really uncovered that actually none of that is the case, and what I do in the book is I take readers behind the scene of famous success stories mm -hmm. and not-so-famous success stories to point out that there's failures and fears along the way. Just reading the contents page is inspiring. I'm like, yes, this is good. <laughs> Thank you. The first principle we talk about is make a big bet, and you right. talk about or, uh, Sarah Blakely of Spanx. Explain her story. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, for those that don't know Sarah's story, you know, she was home one day and she had a party to go to, and she wanted the slimming effect of pantyhose, which any woman can relate to, under her pants. But she realized she was wearing capri pants that didn't cover her ankle and sandals. So what was she going to do with her pantyhose? So she solved her own problem. She decided to cut the feet out of the, out of the pantyhose she was going to wear. And then she realized, wait, if that's a solution for me, it's a solution for other women as well. She had no background in fashion. She didn't have an MBA. She was selling fax machines yeah. at the time. But she took her idea forward sort of uh, point by point. She went to Neiman Marcus and uh, went in the dressing room and tried them on for someone, and they made a big order. And then Oprah chose her as one of her sort of favorite things. And now Warren and Buffett is off. Yeah, and yeah. often Warren yeah. Buffett one, is one, one of her biggest supporters. Yeah. One of the fears you talk about in this is the, is the fear of taking a risk, Yeah, uh, which, which, which everybody has. Everybody and, has, and, yeah. and you, in, in your own in your own life, you were you were a GE, you had a very good job. I did, and you, and then you were offered a job at a startup. And so, how did you make take that risk? Because I know your your mother told you don't do it. <laughs> yeah, well, really, people thought I was crazy to leave what was really a good career trajectory at GE to take this big risk on a startup. But actually, I believed in my heart that I could achieve more of the goals I'd set out for myself mm -hmm. and make a bigger difference in the world if I had done it. Were you I, afraid at that point? I was totally afraid to make the leap and. You know, what, what, what we talk about in the book, or what I uh, talk to readers about, is getting outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. It's so easy to get locked in a place where you're comfortable and everything's okay, but it's not really the life we aspire to. I like to say no things that are great come from the right. comfort zone. You have to get a little uncomfortable and push yourself. How do you accomplish being fearless without being reckless at the same time? Yeah, well, we talk about that. I mean, first of all, it's important to know your own sort of capacity for risk. Some people are more risk averse and some people are more risk tolerant mm -hmm. but there's actually a way you can measure if the risk you're going to take is one that is a measured and not a reckless risk and I put some uh, tips and techniques in the book to help people analyze that. It's all about that special sauce you talk about. Yeah in exactly. You read too about, about smart leaders peek around the corners. They see the future before it happens or create the future before it happens. They do. And you know, one of my favorite chapters is fail in the footsteps of giants. Yeah. Because too often we hear the success stories and we don't know what happened yeah. on the way to success. Yeah. Oprah fired from television and told she wasn't right for TV. Michael Jordan cut from his basketball team, went home and cried in the closet. Steve Jobs fired from the very company he founded, yeah. Apple. Abraham Lincoln losing yeah. his first two races Absolutely. for Congress. I always yeah. tell my it's like I don't care if you fail. It's what you do after you yeah. fail. Absolutely, look, learn from it. Right, Gene yeah. Case, thank you so much. Be fearless goes on sale Tuesday.